Good morning, students. Today, I would like to talk about constructivism. According to Kevin Ryan, constructivism is a theory of knowledge acquisition in which students, cons well, students interact with new information so that they construct meaning from it. According to what I previously said, which of the following pictures represents constructivism? Remember, learners need to be interacting. Do you think they are interacting? I don't think so. But they are interacting. So, the right option here will be... Option A. Characteristics. And some characteristics of constructivism are that learners actively interact with new information and learners use their previous knowledge, attitudes, construct, constructions and beliefs to um, construct new knowledge and learners take responsibility for their own learning. Other characteristics Constructivism involves the use of cognitive tools. Remember that cognitive tools engage and encase thinking. Teachers are involved in students' learning as facilitators. It means that teachers are just going to provide the necessary materials, activities, tools, environments, and situations so that students are able to construct their own knowledge. It develops critical thinking and problem-solving abilities. It develops self-authentic um, assessment too. It is focused on solving real-world problems. It means that what students learn in their classroom is going to help them to be successful in school and also in real-life situations. It supports collaborative construction of knowledge through social negotiation. It means that it is important to do teamwork in classes. It is focused on knowledge construction, not reproduction. Which of the following pictures represents a cognitive tool? Consider the situations in which they are used. Mental map. Mary draws mental maps to study. B. Good. Jane uses Google to search for the answers of her quiz. Remember that cognitive tools um, engage and haste thinking. So, if you are just searching for the answers of your quiz in Google, you are not thinking. But if you are drawing mental maps to study, then you are organizing your ideas and you are organizing your knowledge. So I would like to say that the right option is letter A. Arguments. Um, pros. Students are engaged in active learning. Students learn to work together since they need social negotiation. And students develop and maintain what they already know about a topic and they use that previous knowledge to solve new problems and to explore. Children often enjoy the learning process if they are engaged in activities rather than just be listening to their teacher or to, inst or to instruction. Arguments. Cons. Teacher may not take responsibility for the learning in the class for the poor learning in the classroom, since constructivism is based on the idea that learners have to be independent, and students from lower class family families could be disadvantaged in a self motivated and enhanced on learning style compared to children from upper class families. According to what I. I already said, which of the following situations is an example of, this, of a disadvantage of constructivism? So, option A. 
John, I would like to tell you something today. I have noticed that you are getting low grades in my subject. I am providing you all the materials that you need. Your classmates are doing really well. You are the only one who is not. So, I'm just telling you, you need to be a self-learner. And it means you need to be independent. Option B. Good morning, students. Today, I will like to talk about society and cultures. In this class, you don't have to participate and you don't have to waste time thinking. You just have to listen to me and make notes about what I'm saying. Does that make sense? Remember that one disadvantage of constructivism was that teachers may not pay attention to poor learning students. So I would like to say that the right answer here is letter A. And, well, now it is important to tell you my opinion about constructivism. From my point of view, it is necessary for teachers to use constructivism in their classes since it allows students to um, enjoy their learning process. It encourages encourages the students to um, be autonomous learners and also helps them to develop social critical thinking and problem solving abilities. So this is the reference page and I would like to say thanks for your attention.